Thank you very much. Assemblyman Paul Knitra representing the 10th Legislative District. But before I was an assemblyman, I was a mayor of Point Pleasant Beach, and I, uh, I came as one of my last acts as mayor to, uh, to the State House to, uh, to talk about uh, last year how Orsted was so financially inept and how they'd been bailed out multiple times before. How, uh, how they were going to collapse as nobody listened. And I went through, J.P. Morgan went through all these historic, historical stuff, and, uh, and then they bailed out of one of the projects. So I'm here today to warn everybody about what's going to happen if we continue this ideological quest for green energy. And I heard somebody earlier talk about, oh, this is against big oil and gas. This is big oil and gas. Let nobody confuse anything here. These aren't mom and pop green energy companies. This is Shell Oil that is behind a lot of the wind projects. These are big international multi-conglomerate type companies that are just trying to diversify their portfolio with wind energy. It's not environmentally friendly. The blades aren't recyclable. It's destroying the environment. It's all built with diesel fuel and fossil fuel and everything along those lines. In my committee, my utilities committee, just a couple weeks ago, we had this own administration's head of the Division of Rate Council come to us and beg us to stop mandating stuff like this, to stop moving forward with this Don Quixote-like quest for green energy, because he said how it is destroying the rates that our taxpayers are paying for energy. And here we are, and we're doing it again. We're already doing it again. Uh, the average monthly electric bill in New Jersey is expected to increase between 3.6% and 8.6% in 2024. Uh, by the end of 2025, New Jersey ratepayers will likely see electricity bill increases of as much as 29%. And why is that? Well, again, everybody that testified on our committee a couple weeks ago said it's because of this ideological pursuit picking winners and losers in energy and deciding that we're going to throw all this taxpayer money, subsidies, public land easements, go against the will of local municipalities and people, all of this stuff for this quest, and we're not investing in traditional infrastructure that actually is powering the state. NERC came out and said we're not going to have enough power to power New Jersey this winter. New Jersey a decade ago was a net exporter of energy. We're now a net importer of energy because we're not investing in the right stuff because all the campaign contributions that have flown around to make sure that we get all this green stuff through and so people can have some campaign talking points. This whole thing is a mess. This whole thing is a shell game. And oh, by the way, the energy that we're importing now, most of it's coming from places like Pennsylvania, where my grandfather and my great grandfather worked as coal miners, and it's all coming from dirty fuel anyway. I'm done. Thank you very much.